Hey guys, are here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 3 Lesson 5 homework. So let's get started. Draw place value disks to represent the value of the following expressions. Alright, so number 1, we have 5 times 2. So it's 5 times 2 ones. So we draw 2 of the place value disks in the ones place. But notice how it says five times the two ones. You can fill in the blank here, five times two ones. So that means five of these two ones. So here we have one group. And we have two groups, three groups, four groups, and five groups. One, two, three, four, five twos. So now we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ones. And 10 ones is just 10, so 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 2 ones is 10 ones. If we write our standard algorithm here, 2 times 5 is 10, so we just leave it like that. Alright, in number 2, we have 5 times 20. 20 is 2 tens, so I put 2 in the tens column. And it's five times, so we have two of these tens. We have one group, two group, three groups, four groups, and five groups. So five times two tens is ten tens. Right, ten tens. And ten tens is the same as one hundred. So 20 times 5, that would be 100. And number 3, 5 times 200. 200, we just write 2 in the hundreds column. And it's 5 times. So 1, 2, 3, Four, five. So now I have ten hundreds, five times two hundreds is ten hundreds. And ten hundreds is the same as one thousand. So we write it in our standard algorithm here. That would be zero, zero, two times five is ten. So that's one thousand. All right, and number four, five times 2,000. 2,000, that's two in the thousands column. And times five, so one, two, three, four, and five. Five times two thousands is ten thousands. So we have ten thousands, which is written like this. So if we do our standard algorithm here, that's zero, 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 and ten. Ten thousand. All right, next page. Number five, find the product. So A, we have 20 times 9. 20 times 9, we can write it as 20 is 2 tens and times the 9. We don't need to write the 9 ones. 2 tens times 9. So think of it as just 2 times 9. 2 times 9 is 18. So our answer would be 18, and we add in the tens part. And if we were going to write that in the standard form, 18 tens, there's one zero at the end of 10. So 18 tens would be written with one zero at the end. That's 180. B, we have six times 70. Think of it as six times seven tens. And the answer to six times seven tens, well, six times seven tens, would be 6 times 7, that's 42. 
So our answer is 42 tens. And right at 42 tens, we're in our standard form, we have a zero at the end, that's 420. C, 7 times 700, that's 7, just 7 ones, times 700. 7 times 7 is 49, and we add in the hundreds. The 49 hundreds would look like 4,900. Or in D, 3 times 900, write it as 3 times 9 hundreds. And 3, if you look up 3 and 9, that's 27, 27 hundreds. And 100 has two zeros at the end, so 27 hundreds would also have two zeros at the end which is 2,700. All right, and E, we have nine times 90. Write it as nine times nine tens. We look up the nine and the nine. Nine times nine is 81. So our total is 81 tens. That'd be written as 810. F, we have 40, that's four tens times seven. That's just seven. 4 times 7 is 28, and the 10s at the end. So that's 28 tens. And 28 tens, if we had a 0 at the end, that's 280. For G, we have 600 times 6. 6 hundreds times 6. We look at the 6. 6 times 6 is 36, and at the hundreds part at the end. So 36 hundreds will be written with two zeros at the end, so that's 3,600. Or an H, 8 times 6,000, that would be 8 times 6, and write the thousands. 8 times 6 is 48, and the thousands part at the end. So 48 thousands will be written with three zeros at the end. So this is how it will look like. All right, for I, five times 70, that's five times seven tens, which would make this five times seven is 35 tens. And 35 tens would be written as 350. All right, J, five times 80, is five times eight tens. And five times eight is 40 tens. So 40 tens, we just add a zero at the end, that's 400. K, we have five times 200. Five times two is 10. We have 10 hundreds. Let's write 10 with two zeros at the end, two more zeros at the end, that's 1,000. All right, and L, 6,000 times five, six thousands times the five. Six times five is 35, and the thousands. 35 thousands, just write 35 and add the three zeros at the end. 35,000. All right, number six. At the school cafeteria, each student who orders lunch gets six chicken nuggets. The cafeteria staff prepares enough for 300 kids. How many chicken nuggets does the cafeteria staff prepare altogether? So here, what we're doing is 300 times six to find out how many chicken nuggets there are in all. Because we know each student gets six chicken nuggets. And if they have enough to prepare food for only 300 kids, no more, no, no more, no less, and you just get six, then 300 times six would give us our answer to how many chicken nuggets there are. 300 times six is the same as 300 times six 
which is 3 times 6 is 18. So I have 18 hundreds. And 18 hundreds will look like 18, but two more zeros at the end. That's 1,800. That means the cafeteria staff prepared 1,800 chicken nuggets. All right, next page. Number seven, Jalen has 30 times as many stickers as her brother. Her brother has eight stickers. How many stickers does Jalen have? 30 times as many, so that's 30 times eight. Can we write that as three tens times eight, which three times eight is 24. So now we have 24 tens which is 240. So that means Jalen has 240 stickers. Number eight, the flower shop has 40 times as many stickers and one cooler as Julia has in her bouquet. The cooler has 120 flowers. How many flowers are in Julia's bouquet? So the flower has 40 times as many um, the flower shop has 40 times as many flowers in one cooler as Julia has in her bouquet. So the cooler has 120, and that's 40 times as many. We want to find out how many flowers are in Julia's bouquet. We need 120 divided by 40. So 120 divided by 40, we can simplify that to 12 divided by 40. Or not 12 to 12 by 4, and we know that's 3. And we can rewrite, so then that means 120 divided by 40 is also 3. So 40 times 3, we can check that. That's 4 tens times 3 equals 12 tens, and that's also 120. So 4 times 3 is 120. That means there are three flowers in Julia's bouquet. Yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time.